So I'm trying to compare 381 and some number that I don't know. I know it has a 300, but it hasn't been finished. I know that the 381 has to be less than the other 300 number. What I would do is I would start by sorting my numbers into a place value grid. I have 381, and I'm comparing it to 300 something 3. To help me, I'm going to draw a circle around the number that I know is bigger. I know that 381 is going to be less than that other mystery number, so that would mean the 300 other number is going to be greater. I'm going to draw a circle around the one that's greater, just so it helps me to remember that I'm trying to get a bigger number in the circle. I start by comparing the biggest place value, which is hundreds. In this case, it's the same. Both have three hundreds or three flats. I move to the next value. In my tens, I have eight tens here, and I'm not sure what it goes here, but I know that it has to be bigger. Well, the only number that's bigger than an eight would be a nine. I would assume then that 393 should be bigger than 381. If I put that value in for the missing number, I can see that indeed 381 is less than 393 because they both have three hundreds, but this only has eight rods or eight tenths, and this one has nine tenths. Let's try again. This time I'm comparing slightly bigger numbers. I have 1,283 and 1,000 something 76. I know that in this case that my 1,283 is going to be less than my other 1,000 number. Just as before, I start by sorting the numbers and putting them into the place value charts. Here I have 1,283. Here is my other 1,000 number. I want to circle the one that is bigger. It helps me to keep it straight in my mind. I know that 1,283 is less than. That must mean the other number is greater than. So I'm going to circle that other number. In our examples, it happened to be the both of the ones with the missing number were the greater ones, but it's not always that way. Make sure you always look at which one has the bigger mouth of your comparison sign to know which one to circle. Just as before, I start with my biggest place value, which is thousands in this case, and I start comparing. Both of them have 1,000. Now here, I have a 2 and some mystery number, and I know that the mystery number must be bigger. That gives me a lot of options. I could have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. And you could pick any of them because they would make the number statement true. In this case, I think I want to put a 3 in there. Now if I double check, I know that this one is still going to be bigger because they both have 1,000, but this one has two flats for 100, this one has three flats. Now if I wanted to make it a little bit more tricky, I could try comparing by flipping it. If I wanted to instead make it 1,283 is greater than 1,000 something 76, I would complete the same procedure. But this time, I would circle a different number, which would make it a completely different problem. If I'm looking for 1,283 to be the bigger number, I would circle this one. I would still go through comparing in the same way. They both have one in the thousands place value, but now in the hundreds place value, I have two hundreds and some mystery hundred. Since this is the bigger number, I know that two must be bigger. Therefore, the only numbers that I could put in here are either going to be a one or a zero. In this case, I think I'm going to put a zero. So now, if I wanted it to say 1,283 is the greater number, I know the only way to accomplish that would be if I had either a one or a zero in the hundreds place value, and we chose to put the zero in there. To double check, I could see that both numbers have a one, but in this case, this has two hundreds and this has no hundreds. And if it were money, I know I'd much rather have two hundreds than no hundreds. So I know that indeed this is bigger. So when you're comparing numbers with a missing value, I would recommend you draw your place value chart. Line up your digits on top of each other and circle the one that you know is bigger. And you know that, based on which way the comparison sign is going, the big mouth will be the one facing the bigger number. Then all you have to do is start comparing with your biggest place value until you find your missing number and figure out if it needs to be greater than or less than the number that's circled. Go ahead and move on to your next activity.